Clippers by one, coming out of the timeout. 4.25 to play. Jordan! Oh, my goodness! A swiveling Skywalker! George with the flush! They got my partner a little bit excited. Back door. 360. Oh, George hanging before he throws it down. I would think that would inspire you a little bit if you're a teammate. And we talked about the ABA days when he was coaching the Kentucky Spurs. We see PG stick the arm in, the steal, and the emphasis at the end. Who knew he was Dutch? The windmill by George. It's the interception, the steal, off to the races. A little showtime right here for Paul George. I uh, remember those days. You remember those days. George to Williams, open for three, lets it fly. It is short, 42% on the year from distance. George from the wing to the lane. To the Counted out a foul. Kind of like Shea Gilgis Alexander does. He got between the two defenders before the rotation came by Williams. He's thrown it down and gets fouled. Chance for the three-point play. George goes to work. Clock is running down. They cleared out the corner. Eric Gordon again is using his body to initiate the contact of Paul George, not allowing him to get over. But then the superb shot creator and shot maker that Paul George is able to regain his balance, square up over the hand of Eric Gordon. Armed with all the information <laughs> tonight. Towns leaves it short. Here we go. You're all clear, kid. George! for the windmill the third hot the flying dutchman is that what you're saying right now oh to rick smith back in the day pg looking in his mid-season form right here with the throwdown a nuanced nuisance for the pacers making life challenging just to get the ball across half court george sheds his defender takes it to the house oh hello nasty as paul george with a bird's eye view here in indianapolis circle three point line here's the drive quick catch scoop and finish by paul george given that lane he gets to two dribbles and working at building that body up george motors to midcourt and beyond look out below and Paul George takes flight here in Toronto. This is where you have to square the guy up when he's coming out. Paul George that time with that high middle pick and roll. And that's a good thing about starting it up so high if you get those defenders spread out. Shot clock hits six. Beverly's on George. George. Got to get one up here. Beverly all over him. Oh, what a tough shot. Paul George. George taking matters into his own hands. Tries to rifle a pass to Zoo a little too hot to handle. That's the pass I had mentioned. Paul George picks it off. Finishes two hand. Paul George. But the Clippers have had a fairly easy schedule against teams that are struggling. That's not going to be the case. Deflection interception. Make us proud. Oh, oh. Cocks it back and flushes it in. Paul George signs his autograph on the game. It's back in downtown Los Angeles putting on a show. Watching George behind the back on a kick for Batum. Shot clock is down to three. George steps back, Jay. Oh, yeah! Philadelphia will have it with 14. Uh, in his comfort zone, PG uh, identifying the clock, a little step back. Yeah, good D. Entry passes from the right wing, the left Defense! wing, and Collins now with back-to-back -back buckets. When teams play that two-man game, and I'll refer to the high middle pick and roll top of the circle, Paul George finds it, throws it down. Back watch Paul George never give up on the drive. He has the defender on it. George accelerates, oh. attacks, collides with Powell. Oh, a blocking foul. Count the basket for George. Taking it to the basket. A little face up, put it down. Official called the block that time. He was outside the restricted area. Did he get there soon enough? That's the question. Ah, from that angle, look, his feet were on the white line from that angle. Across the court, comes off the high screen, looks opposite, sees who's over there, Kawhi, behind the three-point line, gets it to him. Friday and Sunday, 
And they'll have a couple of home games. Man knocks it away, recovers, gives it to George, who throws it down. LeBron James made it hard on man. Some way, somehow, it boomerangs back over to Conley and now finds an open Edwards for three. Lead pass to George behind the defense for the flush. Eight for George. Heads up after the rebound. No dribbles. Out of his hands, right into the hands of Paul George. He was a part of that great resurgence. And some of that accountability is at the top, too, to LeBron James. Oh. Paul George with a 32-footer. With a second left to foul. Wow. Maybe Beverly just fell down. Let's watch this defense again. And this right here, Pat getting in, getting under. But guess what? PG only needs a little bit of space. Rises up. There's only a few players in the league. Uh, he, too, is comfortable inside the logo. George picked up by Thompson. Two great two-way players going at it. And it's George knocking down another shot. Paul George. And the Lakers got to be careful. The third quarter was trouble for them in Golden State. Excellent That's when the point. game got away from them right here. They were careless with the ball. Third it was a 32-19 Golden State third quarter the other night in San Francisco. Probably more newsworthy. Here's Batum now. And George with the follow. Paul oh, George. It's a bonus and sports just too big for Westbrook. George tries to drive, finds an open Covington for three. It's good for Covington. And Robert Covington now with seven. That was post Mark Jackson Clipper days. I know so that I said the last 25 years. Yes, leave me out of that. George again. His sweet spot. And nobody saw it. Paul George having his way on his terms. Again, you allow him to play one on one. Bad things are gonna happen. Morris makes the extra pass, but it's deflected and intercepted. Bogdanovich racing back the other way, blocked by George. The recovery is the block. Great block by Paul George. The save goes to the wrong team. And then the attack off the glass, foul, chance for a three-point play. From the three-point line, Morris for three. Long shots, long rebounds. George and the Clippers reload. Lob to Zoo, makes the grab, puts it up and puts it in. Let's watch right here. Paul George finding Zoo underneath Zoo. George from the wing to the lane. Oh, oh, look out below. So good at that mid-range because he can shoot over, guys. Plus, he'll grab a rebound, start the offense all early. A coach Vaughn said they're going to try to give PG a lot of different looks defensively. Uh, they were hoping that KD's length would also be disrupted. George goes to work. Back out to Westbrook. Back to George for three in the lead. Oh, ho, oh, oh, damn! The Clippers are out in front by one. Plenty of time remains. Morris sets the screen. George trying to operate. Steps into a three. It's good. Here we go. 106 to 104. A little push by the Wolves to close the second quarter. And for big reason why, but he's stripped by Paul George. He fires some distance and knocks down the tray. He's been scoring at such a high clip. It's incredible what he's doing at 8.30. And how about that step through by Paul George? Putting the ball in the hands of Paul George. Yeah, I, Terrence Mann is a defensive point guard, and he will... Here's Poole on the drive, met by Plumley, and George comes out of the pack. Plumley's having a nice start to this game. George drives in. George able to score with a foul and one for Paul George. That's his third. That's a great block by Kawhi Leonard. Jordan Poole wanting a foul, but there clearly wasn't one. And there was contact on that. Now, Luke Kennard is, is the next piece to come back. And John Wall. And John Wall. Kennard could be back as early as Thursday as George with a straight run to the rim. Caliber team. Oh, there's no question. And what they do over these last few weeks are going to be crucial. They want a big assignment defensively like guard Kawhi Leonard. But again, see Draymond Green just coming to help all the time. Just not guarding Russell Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard has been lighting it up from three. George drives on Williams, a whistle, a foul, a bucket, and a free throw coming for Paul George. Got their friendly roll. Time now for Drive to the Hoop, brought to you by Hyundai. 
George now with 12 points. He leads all. Seven to shoot for George. Back to Westbrook. Westbrook, crossover, lefty layup, shot won't go. Fight for the rebound. George has it. Back up. That's good. Paul George on the follow. Just two shots so far for George in 10 minutes of play. Interception by man. Here come the Clippers. George with Siakam the beat, sidesteps his defender and flushes it in. Well, now we see the Clippers picking it off. That's a turnover to Toronto. Pitch it ahead. Here's the attack by Paul George. We saw him make a few of those in some timely possessions last year for the Clippers. Hartenstein unable to knock it down there. No, no those were not three things. We were in the lane. That's what they were. Back-to-back -back buckets for Paul George. Watch the assortment of nifty dribble move. Pull back dribble right there. Accelerates down the middle of the floor. Challenged by every clipper on the floor. Blocked. George, make us proud. Flushes it in. 50 seconds to play in the first half of the Clippers. Cut the lead to three. With that right hand and Paul George still hanging at the other end. After makes and misses to kind of keep that momentum and that pace up. George down the lane. Look out below as he rattles the street lamps out on Figueroa. The second half, like we saw in the first right here, just putting it on the deck. And this time, able to elevate. Continues to be the problem against the Thunder. 21 second chance points for Oklahoma City. George dashing down the lane, punching it in with the right hand. Over three from the three point line, but able to split the defense and go up. We emphasize that. That's how your mentality has to be. If Kawhi's on the court or not, and here we go. Off the timeout, Tommy Lou once again drawing up an excellent play. With him, and think about it. Mikel Bridges is up too high, and let's not discount the pass by John Wall. Murray. Gets to the foul line, loses the ball. George on the breakaway, splits a pair of defenders and powers it in with the right hand. Orlando has hit 10 of their last 14. No timeouts, they give it to George. Attacks, gets to the rim, and lays it in. 109, 106. For the Clippers. Because you know, he can get it going in any quarter. George knocks it down. He has 15. We're tied at 62. Attacks, sidesteps, finds Kawhi in the corner. Up top to Gordon. Wipled one back into George. Paul George with 38. Jackson working deep inside. Muscling up a shot. Not there. Zoo with a rebound. Gets it ahead to George. George drives on Kennard, sidesteps a couple of defenders, what a tough shot inside, Paul George with 17 first half points. He's late to recover a five on four. Morris, George, lob it, Zubac the slam! They like that fast break, just like they grew.